You ain't just flirted with me. Hello, welcome back to another fabulous video channel. I'm Jacob J. Boots here, and today we are playing Birth to Death. Birth to Death is a series where you follow a single sim from birth to death, that being Mindy. She's sitting right there. We are playing uh, season two. We'll be growing together. We're following Mindy and her soon-to-be husband, Iggy, as they start a family. This season should end with their wedding, and today is the engagement dinner. The last episode, we got engaged, and so obviously the engagement dinner the next few episodes are all wedding centric so if you have played my wedding stories before and you haven't really dived in or you played with it but you only did the wedding you didn't really dive into the other stuff we're we'll be covering a few other things such as this engagement dinners bachelor parties and then we also have like the wedding itself like going and we're gonna go shop for everything the bouquet the the whole nine yards, which I'm very excited about. So let's go ahead and get started. So the engagement dinner, I ended up actually, Eliza, Iggy's mom, who we all know, if you've been around in the Sims community at all, you know who Eliza Pancakes is, decided that she wanted to throw it at her house. She got some outdoor patio stuff. This is their newest update house, by the way. He also has two siblings now. He has Caitlin, which I'm going to have to send someone to take care of because no one else will take care of. Then... We also have Leah as well over there. The The whole premise of an engagement dinner in this regard is to tell everybody, hey, I have an announcement to everybody and tell everybody that, you know, you're engaged. That's, that's the important. I think I invite everybody. I have a lot of people. Oh, also in this episode, I plan on asking the respected people around me to be the the people in my wedding that's also what i it's also gonna be the first time this is kind of crazy that we have seen evie evie's right here evie we're gonna we're gonna pull to the side so the people who we want in our wedding is evie which is her best friend i'm hoping that will be your maid of honor which you can have two by the way you can two maids. she was really only really close with evie evie and being like her true best friend if i have a second maid of honor it would be Kendra because I'd say Kendra is like her next best friend then we have Nish which will be our ring bearer I think he actually might be our flower pal we'll have to wait and see and then lastly because they don't have I've rather her be a child and then ask her to be a part of our wedding and then we want our grandma Shauna to be our officiant at the wedding it's gonna be I'm trying to go all out for this one which I'm very excited about Friendly announced engagement. I have an Iggy turn on some music. Just have something kind of playing in the background. So that's that's our little half brother, by the way, who is like not getting along. It seems like. this was Iggy's dress, by the way, that we decided to go with. I'd also say okay, so she has like three best friends: Jaden, Kendra, which is her cousin, and then we also have Evie. So as long as Evie says yes. Oh, she only did say yes. Good. That makes me happy inside. Evie's the one throwing her bachelor party. And the cool thing about this, like these like events, they're not timed. So they can go on for literally forever, which I do really like because sometimes you have like all these things that you gotta do. I think we're gonna ask him to be our ring bearer. So I'm gonna go ahead and run over there and do that. Are they flirting? Oh my god. I just got flirted with. Now, he might say no. We don't really know him, but I'm I'm hoping. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. You ain't just flirted with me. I'm nervous. Okay, it doesn't look like he accepted my my offer. <laughs> I'm assuming she's probably not going to accept my offer as being my flower pal either. You have to have some type of relationship. You can ask multiple times, which is pretty cool, but I just have this feeling that it's just not going to be happening. Oh, okay. So we do have an officiant. We have a maid of honor. We'll check off. We'll look at the checklist here in a second, and then we'll do some dancing. I mean, ultimately, if we don't flower, I actually would really like a flower pal. I might. It is your sister, so I feel like you guys should be close. Go talk to her. I am truly shocked that Evie, Evie did that. I'm sure, yeah, she's probably very mad. Let me, let me see something. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I am looking. <sighs> yeah, damn. I don't, I don't think she cheated though. Okay, so he's asking. So I think that was a yes for a ring bear. And once again, the ring bear, not that important. I can ask again though. And then I can't do toast, but I might be able to click on him and maybe ask him. Oh, so that must have been a yes too. 
super cool. So now we have a ring bearer as well. So we come in here. All right, so now everything's done. Everybody's been invited. The party's all set. So now we have the dress to get. I have an idea of what I want. We also need to get the cake, the bouquet, and the venue, obviously. Then we're all good to go for the wedding. That's very, very exciting, but it is scheduled. She has a lot of other things to get done before then. As you guys know, Evie made, did make a pass at her, and they did talk about it. And Iggy was very understanding of the entire situation because Mindy did not reciprocate any type of like romantic interest with Evie whatsoever. I mean, to be honest with you, he did mention something along the lines of like, well, she's making pass at you. Maybe she shouldn't be a part of the wedding party. She can still be invited to the wedding. They don't want to like kick her out of the wedding or anything like that. Maybe like not as involved as like she currently is. This makes me kind of nervous. I mean, I'm happy to see all the friends here just because. But like, I think she's probably like, yeah, my movie's coming out this, this winter, which I'm very excited about. What is going on? What is wrong with this person? Oh my god, right before her wedding, this is what's gonna happen. I was really expecting to walk into this with them being, like, friends. I don't think they've been doing this behind your back. I think we're separating the group. Does he feel guilty at all for doing this? Like, Mindy's deeply wounded. Nothing. There's, like, not a single... This could ruin the wedding. They might not get married. I'm very shocked right now. I don't really know what to do. Okay, situation is this. Mindy is pissed. Mindy is mad. She is kicking her out of her wedding. And she's she's basically doing it in front of everybody. She and her wife or her fiance are not invited. That's crazy to me. I mean, she's also not going to be invited to the bachelor party. And there was only six of us going. Now there's only four of us going if we take out Evie and Greta. And one of them is Amira, which is his ex-girlfriend. And then we have Morgan. I feel like we'll leave, we're going to leave Evie as a guest when it comes to the wedding. We're going to leave them as guests. And we're going to come over here. Announce our engagement. We're going to ask her to be our symbol of honor instead. Evie lost the privileges and stuff. I just don't know how to deal with this situation. I feel like I'm going to get rid of the sentiment for her to feel like he cheated. I, I don't see it as cheating. I know some people out there are going to see it as cheating and stuff. I just, I don't. Because he didn't share the sentiment. If he, like, formed a relationship with her that was romantic in any way, shape, or form, then I could totally see it. But I just, I don't see that. It continues to be a problem while they're married and stuff. Then we'll definitely talk about it more. That is the engagement dinner in a nutshell. The next episode... We'll be going wedding dress shopping and everything else. So wedding dress shopping was originally going to include Evie. Evie was supposed to be a part of this entire like weekend of you know things. But now we'll include Kendra. It's also going to include her mom. I'm gonna say like her and her like Kendra, her maid of honor was something that was gonna bring along Eliza and then like her mom? I don't know who though. Maybe it'll be just Kendra and Eliza. I don't know. I want to know you guys' situation on what happened here. What side are you guys on? Do you think the wedding should still go through? Fun fact, it probably is. And I don't see it as shooting. Do you see it as shooting? Let me know in the comments down below. 